our 3CK Camp at Home craft. Day two, we're going to make a little basket. For this craft, you're going to need some yarn, the printout that looks like a flower with some petals, scissors, a hole punch, and this is optional, but if you have something lying around that can hold some of the yarn together at the end, and you'll see why later, that would be helpful. So I'm gonna use clothespins today. And if you don't have a printout, you can always take a small plate and just cut out rectangular sections. You just have to make sure it's an odd number. Now that you have it all cut out, you can take your hole punch and just cut out the circles that are all along the rectangles, which look like little flower petals. Now that it's all cut out, you simply just fold each rectangle piece in to where it meets the circle and you do it all around. Now that you have it all folded up, it should look like a little bowl. And then you take your yarn and just pick one of the petals to start with. And it's probably just the easiest to just tie it. Or you can also, if you have tape, just tape it onto the inside just to keep it in place as we start to weave our basket. Make sure it's all the way to the bottom and then begin. And since that's out, we go in, and then out, in, out, and in, and out. So you just go in and out through each rectangle piece, and then you just keep going across the whole thing again. And you do this all the way to the top. Here's just to show you some of the progress. So it should look sort of like this and you try to get up to where that circle is. Now that it's all around, so you're going to cut it. tuck it one more time and you just tuck it into the rest of the yarn till it's nice and snug. And then for the next part, some clothespins will come in handy and basically you're going to you put one end into here, one of the holes to keep it in place. And then you're just going to wrap it all around and be generous to cover up all those holes and the top. So you're just winding the string through the different circles. In and out. So when you finish weaving in that thread through all of the different holes, you could just kind of adjust all of this yarn so that it covers it more on the outside. And then you could take the excess and just cut it off and tie it up. You can tie it onto any of the other yarn that you see there. Or you could just tuck it in too. And there's your basket. 